Um, what do people like to make for New Year's? What's that? Black Eyed Peas? Hey guys, I'm Shantae from naturalveganmama.com where we're all about showing you how easy this vegan lifestyle can be. Today we're making Black Eyed Peas. At the end of the recipe, I'm giving you three reasons to go vegan this year if you aren't already. Now let's make those Black Eyed Peas. I'm starting with one 14 ounce bag of dry black eye peas. I'm soaking them overnight and I filled the water all the way to the top of the container. Next, I'm rinsing the beans. Here I have one cup of vegetable stock. I'm also using two cups of spring water. Now I'm melting about two tablespoons of vegan butter. I'm using about three scallion. I chopped them to about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch and now I'm sauteing them. Here I've added onion, red pepper, yellow pepper, and bell pepper. Now just mix all of those guys together, make them one happy family, get them nice and coated with the butter. Here I have one teaspoon of black pepper. Here I've combined about two tablespoons of tarragon, garlic, and salt. Here's one teaspoon of liquid smoke. And now you see all our veggies have blended up nicely. They're nice and sauteed. I've added them to the black eyed peas. I'm using a crock pot, which is an amazing time saver. I'm using five bay leaves. And we're just gonna put those bad boys in there and they're gonna give our black eyed peas a wonderful flavor. So just let's mix all of our friends up, let them get to know each other very well. All those seasonings, let all of that blend. Make sure everything is nice and blended before you remove that spoon and put that lid on. I put my crock pot on low so it would take about six to seven hours to cook fully. I also have a high setting if I wanted it to cook in four hours but that, those are the settings that I have on my crock pot. And this is the end result. They came out so good. Here are three reasons to go vegan this year. Reason number one, animals feel pain, period. Reason number two, eating meat increases your chance of heart disease by 50%. Reason number three, 70% of the grain that's grown in the United States is grown for animal consumption. Hundreds of millions of people in the world are hungry. All of that grain that we're growing for animal consumption could be grown to help stamp out hunger. If you're already vegan, congratulations! You're doing something amazing for yourself, for the animals, and the planet that we live in. If you're thinking about going vegan, definitely reach out to me. I have no problem answering any questions that you have. It's my pleasure. Um, I got a lot of support when I started my vegan journey, so I definitely want to pay it forward and help anyone that I can. So reach out to me. I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. My New Year's wish for all of you guys is to have lots of peace, lots and lots of love, and definitely lots of happiness. Happy New Year to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching and Happy New Year. Bye.